welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the main card is flying, so you are moving away from very, very negative situations. Uh, and, you know, you're seeing the bigger picture of things as well. The energy is uplifting uh, and you're now getting over difficult situations because the moon is ending there. So that phase is now over. You've got um, the orange card over here, which is the activation of the sacral chakra. So, you know, a need for you to uh, develop your self-confidence. And that's what you're working on at the moment and bringing in, you know, a lot more happiness and a lot more joy as well as coming into your uh, arena right now. You've got um, the dreaming card, sorry, the drowning card. Maybe this is how you've been feeling. Maybe you've been feeling very, very emotionally overwhelmed, really. There's a lot of water in this card. And Cancer is the sign that rules, uh, you know, it's a water sign. So maybe you've been letting your emotions get away with you. Uh, you need to get out of that uh, feeling of being overwhelmed uh, or feeling as though the situation is getting the better of you. It looks like you are going to uh, rise above it because first you are going through this drowning phase and then you're going through the flying phase. So it looks like you will emerge uh, from it. Uh, you know, you will be able to sort that out. So that energy looks like it's, you'll be able to lay that energy to rest. Now, in the past, you've got uh, the gun card over here and the gift. So the gun is about, uh, you know, you may have been dealing with a legal situation and you've been, uh, you know, a judgment has been passed. And it looks like it went in your favor because you've got the gift over here. And this is generally, you know, it's a positive card. It looks like, uh, you know, whatever legal situation you went through, you were a winner in it. Uh, you know, unexpectedly, uh, you managed to conquer that situation. Now, going into the future, you've got the rose card over here and the lion. So this is the gift of love coming in. So whatever you've dealt with, it looks like new love might be entering your life. And, you know, it comes to you in that form of a gift. Uh, maybe somebody asks you out on a date or there's some kind of invitation. Uh, but it's certainly bringing a lot more happiness for you. And you've got the lion card over here as the final card. So, you know, it looks like you are getting your power and authority back. You have sorted through problems and, you know, you're back again as being the king of the jungle. So it looks like, you know, you, you are going to be able to overcome whatever situation you are, are facing. And you're going to get into a position where you're in much more authority and much more in charge of your life. So those are the energies for that week. Oops. So I'm using the Parrot Tarot for the main read. I put this deck in the description box and it's a very pretty deck and very unusual to so have a look. I have shuffled this deck, a deck. So let's see what it's got to say. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Mentor of Cups over here, and this looks like a brand new offer coming in for you. So uh, this might be an offer for new study. This might be an offer for travel as well, because uh, you've got the Centaur offering this woman the cup. So it looks like you went through some kind of emotional turmoil, emotional difficulties, and you're starting to emerge, see the world from as a better place, really. Uh, and it looks like this new offer comes in. This could be an offer also of an apology. Uh, maybe somebody's apologizing for being a jerk, really. <laughs> so it looks like you know there's some brand new offer coming in for you that's going to make you very very happy actually so what's happening with you the, you've got the princess of swords and the queen of wands so there's some kind of legal matter that you were dealing with in the past uh it looks like you know you're taking a stand for what you believe in uh and uh you know you're trying to move forward so uh, there's that legal decision that came through but now you're determined to get over things and move forward now, um, you know, with this uh, Princess of Swords over here, it's also about, um, you know, um, maybe you have even dealt with somebody that was very sneaky and very uh, nasty as well, uh, somebody that caused a lot of problems for you. You've got this uh, particular uh, woman wearing, it's almost like... Um, 
Medusa's head. There's a lot of snakes in this head. So this person that you were dealing with was very toxic, very nasty. And it could have been a fire sign energy that you were dealing with. Because you've got the Queen of Swords, um, a Queen of Wands sitting next to this Princess of Swords. So this particular person that you might have been dealing with um, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Uh, caused a, a lot of problems for you and stirred up a lot of issues as well. Uh, they went a lot uh, behind your back uh, and their behavior was really, really nasty. Um, um, and, uh, you know, it seems like, um, you know, the, it might have been even legal issues. They might have been manipulating a legal system. And it certainly caused a lot of drama because you've got this uh, volcano, volcano erupting in the back over there. So there was a lot of drama that you had to deal with that this person caused. Now, you've got the Princess of Discs over here. So uh, it looks like, you know, in the recent past, you've, um, you know, been looking at your options, weighing your options, making plans for the future, and really focused on your career quite a bit, uh, climbing up that career ladder. You're definitely making plans for the future, you're using a lot of your intuition, and you're trying to manifest a brand new future. You're being faced with some kind of decision. You've got Mars in Aries over here, so that's where your focus has been. Uh, so some kind of big decision coming in over there, and you're trying to take charge of that situation. You've got the card of Dominion over here, so taking control of your environment, taking control of the situation but at a crossroads in your life trying to make a big decision over there maybe there's also two projects that you have to do that are on offer and you can't really decide what to do this could also be a card where you're deciding about whether or not you want to travel uh, with this particular job so you're trying you're stuck in the middle of, of a decision what you want is happiness. You want the Nine of Cups and you want your wishes to be fulfilled because this is what is on your mind. This is what you're trying to focus. This is what you're trying to manifest at this particular moment. Now, going to the future, you've got the D a Queen of Discs. So there's an offer that is coming in uh, for you. And uh, it might be somebody that you've worked with in the past. It's going to bring in a lot of abundance and it's going to clear away the clouds. So if you've been having any financial problems, this is the thing that sorts it out. You've got the... Um, goat over there that's talking about it being something that uh, allows you to progress up the career ladder as well so whatever this new offer is it's probably a promotion or it could be a new job offer that brings in that new money for you and that's coming in for you now you've got the mentor of discs it looks like you might be traveling for this particular job so it's a big job because they've got this man with the body of the bear so it might be a big company that has made an offer you've got the sentio with this pentacle so this offer has coming to you but this particular job might in involve you relocating moving to another continent maybe even changing you know definitely traveling uh, overcoming uh, you know obstacles uh, but also crossing uh, you know maybe Maybe air travels, something to do with travel uh, and moving on. So you might be, uh, you know, uh, changing your job completely. This news is coming in and is bringing in the rainbow. So that means that the difficult is going to end all the financial difficulties that you might be facing. A lot of victory coming in with that. And uh, it's, it's also going to need for you to focus and, and might mean a, a lot of hard work, but you will be able to sort things through. And it looks like, you know, you're going to be very happy in that particular job. You've got the star card over here. So getting rid of all these negative emotions that you're going through and, you know, seeing the positivity of life um, and, you know, healing from a difficult situation that you went through. It looks like this new job is going to bring that kind of healing in for you as well. This is also getting some good advice from people around you. Uh, and being very optimistic about the future as well. So whatever comes in for you is going to change your attitude towards life. And, uh, you know, it's going to bring you some success. You've got the five of wands over here. So you've been dealing with a lot of fighting, a lot of strife. You've got Saturn there in Leo, people attacking you on a personal level attacking your confidence a lot of competition uh you know a lot of uh you know nasty behavior going on around and people uh you know speaking a lot of uh, nasty words as well uh so there's been a lot of chaos and there's been a lot of drama that you've been dealing with and in your, since that car falls into your hopes and fears it might you know you you don't want that to happen again so you're trying to move away from that so coming up for you uh the final outcome you've got the queen of cups of here the ten of wands and the king of swords so with the queen of cups of there that's your card you are feeling a bit depressed a bit low uh, and maybe feeling a little lonely you've got this woman with um you know um it looks like a stalk or an ibis over here but uh, it looks like you know you are ready to move on you're ready to leave behind whatever's happened and move away from it so you are spending a lot of time by yourself uh you know but you are more in control of your emotions and that situation uh than ever before 
So, and also you might be taking on the role as, as a teacher. There's somebody, you know, the Queen of Cups about training people up as well. So you might be uh, doing some kind of mentoring kind of course as well. Or may, taking a mentoring role at this particular moment. You've got the Ten of Wands. So this is the end of that oppressive cycle. You've got Saturn, uh, you know, sitting in Sagittarius, with, which is very restrictive. You know, you want freedom of thought. You want freedom of movement. And all these burdens that you've been carrying have been, uh, you know, uh, preventing you from actually expressing yourself. Uh, so it seems like this particular cycle is now coming to an end uh, and, you know, you'll be able to um, get rid of all those burdens. And there's some kind of legal situation that you're dealing with. So some kind of legal news or some kind of legal decision that comes in that allows you to uh, get rid of all these responsibilities, all these burdens, all these problems that you've been dealing with and move forward into the future. It's coming in pretty quickly that you'll get news about it soon. Uh, it looks like it's a victorious uh, you know, ending towards uh, this particular situation and you'll be able to sort through things. Uh, maybe waiting for the news is depressing you really, uh, but it looks like, you know, you'll be able to move forward after that decision is made and get rid of all the burdens and start a new cycle really. So you might be moving to actually do a new job somewhere else. There's a, definitely a new offer coming in with more money attached to it. Uh, you were dealing with a very toxic person, it seems, uh, but you're now moving away because, um, you know, this new offer comes in with this mentor of cups uh, here. So you're still very anxious at the, bo the bottom of that particular card is the cruelty card. So you've been going through a, a, a state of very high anxiety, maybe not sleeping very well, and maybe this has led to uh, some depression. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. So this is excellent because uh, you've got the Ace of Fire over here. So after that Ten of Wands, which is also, you know, the Ace of Fire is the Ace of uh, Wands. So after that oppressive phase has ended, it looks like there's a new beginning coming in for you. You've got an, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, uh, a change of your life now. So you, you can see that new uh, offer coming in for you that's going to change everything and it's going to allow you to move forward. And this is also a card talking about really uh, international travel, really, and a lot of communication on an international basis. Also, you know, you might be the one that's in charge of that particular project as well, a position of authority. So you've got the release card over here. It's the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation and time to move on. So this is the death card. So you're leaving behind an old situation and you're going to start something brand new over here. So end of difficulties. And you've got the sun card. And this is the most brilliant card, I think, because it says happy outcomes, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have the confidence in yourself. So this is the sun coming out for you. Uh, you know, you, you you may have to work hard, but you definitely are going to have a lot of success with the sun card. So after going through all these problems, it looks like, you know, you're ending that situation with a release card, a new a new. Um, aspect of life beginning, a new cycle beginning, and the sun card coming and pouring in a whole lot of positive energy and success into your life again. So this is really good, and I hope that this reading has resonated with you, and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.